What's going on everybody, it's AG here. Today I'm going to be bringing my college football week 9 top 25 rankings. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get completely started here today though, do me a favor and hit that big old red subscribe button down below. That way when I post more content like this, you'll be the first one to know about it. So starting us off here, my first four out. These are in no particular order, but these would be my next four that would be in. I've got Troy coming off that win over South Alabama. North Carolina. They've only got one loss, but they haven't really beat anybody this year. And they lost to Notre Dame, so that's why they're not completely ranked for me. Cincinnati. They also only have one loss to Arkansas, but they haven't really beat anybody yet. So Cincinnati could climb into the rankings next week. Then we've got Maryland. They've got two losses. Only lost to Michigan by a touchdown. Once Maryland gets a few more wins under the belt, they'll be ranked. So now, on to the top 25. Before I dive into my top 25, first off, I want to mention the few teams that are out of the rankings this week. They were in the rankings for me last week. South Alabama, coming off that loss to Troy. Purdue, losing to Wisconsin. Mississippi State, losing to Alabama. And then Texas, losing to Oklahoma State. So when you get this low on the top 25, it's basically splitting hairs. Do I value the amount of losses you have more or the quality of your wins and losses? So at 25, I've got Florida. They have three losses, but they have beaten Utah, which is a really quality win. One of the best teams in the Pac-12. That's a huge win. And then at 24, I've got Florida State. They also have three losses, but those three losses, like Florida, are the top 25 teams. And Florida State has beaten LSU, which keeps looking better week after week. So that's why I've got these two at 24 and 25, even despite three losses. At 23, I've got Illinois. They only have one loss, but they haven't really beaten anybody yet. They could be in the Big Ten Championship. If they keep winning, they'll keep moving up. At 22, I've got Kansas State. They look competitive against TCU, and they did that without their starting quarterback. If they had their starting quarterback in that game, it might be even more interesting. Kansas State can play. I've got them at 22. At 21, I've got Tulane. Kansas State's only other loss this year besides TCU was the Tulane. At number 20, I've got NC State. They've got two losses to Syracuse and to Clemson, which are two quality losses, and they've beaten Florida State. Their quarterback might be out for the year, though, so that could end up dropping them out of the rankings by the end of the year. At number 19, I've got Liberty. Their only loss for the year is a one-point loss to Wake Forest. They destroyed BYU today. They look good. Charlie Brewer's there, the former Baylor quarterback, if you remember him. Liberty looks good. At number 18, I've got USC. This team, I think, is the best team in the Pac-12, even though that even though they lost to Utah. They were on by this week. I've got them at 18 because they haven't really beaten anybody yet. Once they make it through their complete Pac-12 schedule, they may end up moving up. I think by the end of the year, this team will be almost a top five team. I know they lost to Utah last week, but they are a threat. Number 17... The team that beat USC last week, Utah. They've only got two losses, one to UCLA and then one in the swamp to Florida. They're coming off that win over USC, Utah can play. At number 16, I've got Kentucky. If Will Levis didn't get hurt, they'd only have one loss right now and that'd be to Ole Miss. They lost to Ole Miss in a game they could have won. They lost to South Carolina without Will Levis. Number 15, I've got Ole Miss. They're coming off that loss to LSU. They kind of got manhandled in this loss. They jumped out early on LSU, but they couldn't close. They have beaten Kentucky, but that game could have went either way. Once they really get in their SEC schedule, they may end up dropping. At number 14, coming off a big win over Ole Miss, I've got LSU. Besides that one-point loss at the beginning of the year to Florida State, only other loss to Tennessee, LSU's looking better and better each week. Number 13, I've got Penn State. Their only losses to Michigan. They manhandled Minnesota this week. Penn State mm. looks good. At number 12, I've got UCLA. They lost to Oregon today. It wasn't very competitive, but UCLA has beaten Utah, which is a big win in my opinion. Number 11, actually moving up for me this week, is Syracuse. I was really skeptical on Syracuse. I didn't think they were that good of a team, but they played with Clemson. They turned them over four times. Clemson played pretty bad, but Syracuse impressed me this game. They showed me they can play with anybody. Kicking off my top 10, I've got Oregon. Coming off that win over UCLA, Oregon has looked good these past few weeks. Bo Nix is balling, but that big loss to Georgia at the beginning of the year still is lingering in my mind. Oregon looks good, but I can't get the thought out of my head that they got absolutely destroyed by Georgia. That's why I have them at number 10, despite how good they've looked. I just can't bring myself to trust this team after they got beat so bad. At number 9, I've got Oklahoma State. They're coming off a win over Texas in which they scraped by. This is kind of Oklahoma State plays. It's not pretty, but they get the job done. They win. 
If they win out, they'll get that rematch with TCU in the Big 12 Championship. At number 8, I've got Wake Forest. Their only loss this year is a one-point loss to Clemson in overtime. Wake Forest has looked good this year. Sam Hartman's got that offense rolling. At number 7, I've got TCU. They're coming off a big win over Kansas State. TCU, even though they're at 7 right now, they control their own destiny. Four of the teams above them right now are guaranteed to have a loss by the end of the year because they all play each other. So TCU, all they have to do is keep winning out. If they get win out, they're going to be in the playoff. Now, can they win out? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see on that one. The Big 12's a gauntlet. We'll see. At number six, I've got Alabama. They bounced back from that loss against Tennessee nicely. Absolutely a manhandle in Mississippi State, as they usually do. Mississippi State, unfortunately, somehow always plays Alabama after a loss, which isn't a good time to play on, but they're going to have revenge on their mind. They got the bad end of the stick on that one. Alabama, they look good this week. They handled Mississippi State. If they went out, they're going to get either Tennessee or Georgia in the championship. If they can win that one, they'll be in the playoff. At number five, I've got Michigan. They had a bye this week. Last week, they beat Penn State pretty easily. They look good so far this year. We'll see when they play Ohio State. At number four, I've got Clemson. They struggled today against Syracuse, but a win's a win. They've beaten the four toughest teams in the ACC, so they've played the tough part of their schedule. Clemson looks like they'll be in the playoff again. At number three, I've got Tennessee. They had an easy win over Tennessee Martin today. They're about to get into the thick of their schedule, though, in the SEC. We'll see if they can keep that Alabama win rolling. At number two, I've got Georgia. They look good so far this year. We'll see once they get into the real meat of their SEC schedule how they do. Number one, I've got Ohio State. Another week, another week Ohio State rolls. They've got Jackson Smith and Jigba back now. That offense was already humming. With the number one receiver back, though, this offense may be unstoppable. Ohio State's looked good so far this year, so I've got them at number one right now. So here's another look at my top 25 for the week. Let me know any teams that you would add down in the comments section below. And also, let me know any teams that you would drop out of my top 25 down in the comments as well. As always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That way when I post more content like this, you'll be the first one to know about it. So until next time, AG, out.